Hey, football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The crowd is filling up the dome, and we're just about ready for the Florida Gators and the Wolfpack of North Carolina State. This bowl game has all the makings of a great one. Should be a lot of fun. And here comes the Wolfpack. The Gators don't seem to match up too well in this one. Kirk, I'm not sure I like their chances very much. North Carolina State has a big advantage on the offensive side of the football, and that's their quarterback. And the thing that I've noticed about him that makes him so special is his composure on the field. He's the reason they win this game big. These guys are going to bring their A game today. North Carolina State is going to win. All right, guys, welcome to the last video of MJ's freshman season. What a season it has been. We are going against the Florida Gators here in the Chick-fil-A Bowl. First and 10, Felipe Franks. And that's not a way to start. As Engel, the ball hawking free safety, sets things up perfectly for this offense, man. And, yo, <laughs> we all know. I don't have to explain it, but our offense has to put points on the board. Hand out to uh, P. Ryan, and he takes it for a negative one yard rush. Now, we all know the defense line it's definitely tone setter for you know any game that we start. We could have made a play in the backfield right there, but nice run by P. Ryan picks up seven. That's gonna bring up a third and four. Now I didn't really set the rosters up. Uh it supposed to be Emory Jones that's supposed to be playing this game, but you know what I mean? Being that um he will get to start next season. But nice pass right there from Franks to Hammond that picks up a first down, first and ten. P. Ryan in the backfield. Play action pass. And they got a cut block. Felipe Frey showing off the wheels. And we actually get there and make the tackle, man, after we get chop block right there. So nice host right there by MJ. First and 10. Got Kyle Pitts playing fullback. So we definitely got to watch out for that, man. Definitely going to try to sneak him off in a. Oh, no. P. Ryan, they actually hand it off. And that goes absolutely nowhere. Let's check out the penalty. And the penalty actually was on them. So first and 25. The same look, same formation. Now they got Kyle Pitts at tight end. Handing off to Pete Ryan. And it seemed like they want to establish the run. But we all know that's definitely not going to fly. <laughs> but third and 22 right here. On their 41. Felipe Frank shot back to pass. And he gets sacked. And let's take on the penalty, man. Yo, you cannot one-on-one, -on -one and it's holding on them. So that's not a good way to start for them. As we get on the board first, seven-nothing ball game, start of the second quarter. Oh, damn. Nice run, p <laughs> but a bunch of red jerseys right there. Second and 11. Now, guys, like I said, man, my community tab, I want to do apologize for the, you know, not uploading, but dealing with some life stuff man i'm, I'm back on track <laughs> i'm back on track first and 10 and i'm actually reading a book um i can't think of the subscriber name right now but he uh got me a subscriber like a baseball channel mlb um it'll come to me but reading this book on how to you know grow and all that so i've been reading that so i've been taking notes on that and you know, just doing life stuff that that that's it's part of life. <laughs> I mean, I'm in a good mental health stage, and I'm good at right here. Cop has got lit up, bro. And that could have been an interception. That safety was definitely more aware. Okay, that ball hung in the air for a few seconds, man. But third and ten, Felipe Franks throwing it to Jefferson, and he picks up the first down. And now the LA Rams receiver, first and ten, Felipe from drop back to pass hit Hammond again. They seen they had that connection. Franks and Hammond. All right, second and one. This is where the, this is where the defense comes alive to us, man. Most definitely. This is where they come up. This is where we come alive and Franks goes down again. Let's go. We can get pressure with three down linemen, two down linemen. Y'all seen it before, man. It's just that motivation by this defense line, man. As they go three and out, where they tack on a field goal. 14-3 ball game, and he tried to throw it to Pitts, and Pitts is just, I know that wasn't Picks. I believe that was Zipper, I believe. But second and 10, yeah, the, the All-American Pitts has definitely been solid in this game. A nice open field tackle right there 
on P. Ryan. Yeah, we got a 14 point lead, two possession. And Frank's trying to take off, and you know, MJ, you, you, you know, he got to make his presence known in this game. You know, you have to. 39. And he's trying to throw it deep, and he just dropped it. Let's check out the penalty once again. It's holding on the Austin, brother. It's like they cannot block this defensive front. They just cannot. Oh, let's go. Pick that. Oh, good defense, baby. It's like I haven't known. For this secondary, I, I would say overall for the, the entire season, I give them a, a B. You know what I mean? So they definitely waking up in this game, man. And Freddie Swain with a nice grab right there. The Nana Seattle Seahawks receiver. Play action pass, and yo, <laughs> yeah, I've seen it coming. You damn sure better roll some dirt on it. Start of the fourth quarter, man, with the way we dominating, we pretty much got this game in the bag. Yo, Bobby Miller, y'all know he had to say something in this game. What a big hit, man. Third and 16, pressure up the middle, and McNeil said he got to get in on the action, too. As he sacks Frank's legs, look, yo, look at that. They average 150 rushing yards the game. They got negative nine in this game. This is going to show you how dominant this game, yo, that we are in this game. It's Grimes with his first grab of the game. That goes for a first down, first and 10. Deep in their own territory. Yo, this is the full out grown man. It's Grimes with another, his second catch of the game. Yo, MJ is throwing these grown men to the ground like they nothing. First and 10. Yo, look at this. Yo, like, yo let's go. A full grown man. This is like, this dude is a problem child. And Tyree Cleveland, that only goes for four, maybe five, 39 here. Under a minute left in this Chick fil A bowl. And yo, this defense, they came, they saw, they conquered. They, yo, <laughs> he break away a sack, but yo, we got. Everybody that's hungry to sack the quarterback, man. Fourth and 16. Y'all see me playing coverage. And look at this. Only a three-man rush. Smith's Villa, the red shirt senior, had to go out with a bang. He will go out with a bang, man. He's second sack of the game, and we just straight out demolished the dominated Florida Gators. As we finished 12-2, and two, and we get the trophy, man. So big things heading to next season. I just can't wait, man. I already got a couple games already played. I just got to edit to get out to you all, man. Appreciate y'all. This CR8 here, man. Hit that subscribe button. Tony notification bells until next time. I'm up out of here, man.